Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Scrib, and welcome back to the channel. So, what I wanted to talk about in this week's Scrib Talk video is something, something rather uh, serious and whatnot. Um, it's a topic that wound up coming across my attention like a couple of weeks ago, and so I wanted to, you know, talk about it and stuff like that, and you know, get your guys' opinion on it. Now, what the said topic is is how do you guys feel about a man and or a woman that's in their mid to late 30s and older dating somebody that's between the ages of 19 and 25? So let's talk about it. Now, I wanted to talk about this, you know, like I said, it has been brought to my attention a couple of weeks ago. And so, when I, you know, was kind of uh, hearing about it and everything, you know, seeing all kind of videos and stuff like that on uh, TikTok as well as Facebook, that kind of had me thinking and stuff. And so I've, you know, kind of talked to a few people that I know personally and stuff like that, as well as a few strangers, just to, you know, kind of get everybody's uh, perspective. And so I wound up talking to a lot of men as well as a lot of women, just so that I can see both sides of the, of the spectrum with this. And so now, from what it is that I basically have, um, you know, witness in everything, looking at these videos on social media, you have a lot of women that, you know, let's just say they're, uh, they're mid thirties and older and stuff like that. They will sit there and get with a guy that's between the ages of, uh, 18 and 25. And so if a woman does something like that, then you have a lot of other women, a lot of other people that's, you know, saying, you know, pretty much condoning the behavior, saying she's a MILF, she's, you know, just having fun, she's living her life, all of that. And they're basically saying she has every right to do that, right? But then if a man of the same age, you know, uh, mid-30s and older, if he dates a girl that is 18 to 25, then all of a sudden, a lot of people are saying that he is a predator. He's grooming her. He should not be doing anything like that. And that's where the double standard comes in at. And so with a lot of people uh, that I've actually talked to, I had a few people that says that anybody uh, that's around that, that older age, whether they are a man or a woman that is dating somebody that is you know, 10 to 15 or plus years younger than them, it don't matter what their uh, gender is, it is still wrong. Whether you a man or a woman, they look at it as it is a little bit predatory and creepy. But then I've also talked to a few people that they said, both not mind you, both men and women are saying all of these. And so you have a, uh, other people that are saying, well, they're 18. They're considered an adult and stuff like that. As long as both parties are uh, are basically of age, they're adults, and you know, there's the uh, the consent between the two of them, then there's no issue. As long as both establish that there is boundaries, there is, you know, they have this talk, you know, stuff like that. And so now, when it comes to me personally, I really, I don't want to say that, you know, I'm all for it, but then I don't want to say I'm against it, if that makes sense. And so now I would like, now the thing is, I will say if, you know, if a, uh, a man or a woman that's, you know, of course, 30, 35, older or whatever, they, you know, see somebody that's, you know, 18, 19, 20, 21, that they, uh, that they like, then, okay, they're, you know, consenting adults and stuff like that. But the way that I look at it is like, okay, if as long as, as long as there's the consent, it's fine. Now, the thing is, that's, you know, I guess you say like a pro of it or whatever, you know, as long as, you know, they both consent, 
it's fine. It's okay. And stuff like that. Because I wound up uh, talking to somebody and she said that, you know, you never know what could happen in said uh, relationship. The older person can basically teach the younger, uh, the younger uh, person that they're dating and everything, you know, what to, you know, what to expect out of life and stuff like that. You know, teach them, guide them as they get older as well as the younger person basically showing them like, you know, hey, yeah, you pulled me, you still got it and stuff like that. Showing them some things that, you know, the older person was not aware of and stuff like that. You know, teaching them how to be young, how to be free, how to have fun again, right? Now, the bad side of that, that, you know, I personally, um, that I personally see in everything is, okay, you're an adult, mind you, you don't matter if you're a man or woman, you're an adult and stuff like that. And so you're, uh, you know, older than 30. Why go for somebody that young first? Could you not find somebody your age in everything, you know, for you to, you know, want to date? Like there's so many variables with this and stuff like that to where it's a lot to dissect. But the issue that I have with a lot of people is the double standard. A woman can do it, everything is fine. A man does it, then he gets dragged. He, you know, gets belittled, degraded, all of that. And so I don't see how it's okay for a woman to do it, but yet not a man. And so I did want to talk to you guys about this. So let's open the conversation in the comments and let's hear it and stuff like that. Uh, you know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that it's okay for, uh, you know, somebody 18 to 21 dating somebody that's 10, 15, 20 years older than them? You know, uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Why? Why not? Let's uh, have this conversation in the comments below. I'm going to end this video here. This has been your boy Scriv, and I'll see you guys next week.